Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, 635 CSI. Starts and settles down to a nice idle. And all the warning lights go out. That orange light shows we're in park. And when I put it into D, it does go along there and there's a green D there now. Put it back into park for that. Now we'll show you under the bonnet. Again, just getting on with the job. Next up, driving. Unburstable 635 motor just doing what it should there. Go around the other side. Okay, so here we are out driving in this uh, 635 CSI. Driving absolutely beautifully. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. Into lockout top gear there. Unusually all the instruments are working because often uh, one side of the dash stops working on these by this age. And it is showing just 52,000 miles. A little bit too much wind noise from the um, from the driver's uh, window. Possibly, I mean, the, the rubber looks to be in good shape, but it may just need a little bit of reseating. Slightly more wind noise than I would like, but no rattles or squeaks. performs really the way it should. I do like these and I've had, oh god, must be 30 of them over the last 30 years, I would have thought. I used to use them as daily drivers. And now we're stuck behind a little bit of slow traffic, but we're going to be turning off in a minute. Switchable automatic box. Although, as I've found, you don't really need the... Um, the sports mode, they're quick enough in uh, standard trim. Brakes nicely, well as nice as one of these ever does because the braking system isn't really up to the performance of the rest of the car. But no shuddering through the pedal then as I was uh, slowing down. Changes gear very nicely.
really just gets on with it. Things like the um, heater rear stat, which normally fails, is absolutely fine on this one. Um, the check panel works. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an absolutely fine machine, it really is. I can normally find something to criticise on these, but I'm struggling with this one. Yeah, impressive, I think. Hope you do too.